All personnel, clear the launch platform. <laughs> Welcome everybody to a new Creepy Old Crypt yeah. episode where we're going to start on... I don't, I don't know if we caught that piece I, of audio, I hope, I hope but I hope we caught. did. But <laughs> I'm not going to say what it was. If you, if you caught it, you caught it. If you didn't, you didn't. Anyway, how's it going, everybody? Uh, we are in Tomorrowland right now in a very rare... Uh, in Disneyland, in California. Yeah, we're back. I, I guess we should state that again. Maybe I'll move this right here so we can... Yeah. Um, I guess we should state that in case it wasn't abundantly clear. Maybe some people are new to the show. They don't know where, yeah. who we are or where we go. But anyway, we are um, in a rare state right now because we're chilling in, um, well, yeah, we're, we're what is this? It's, it, it this was Tomorrowland, but it's the back of Tomorrowland. It's the yeah. seating area of Pizza Planet. Yeah, yeah. It was it, before that. It was the pizza port. But pizza. It was the. Yeah. I don't know, it's always been a weird. Yeah, I've never liked it. No, it's this always place been is expensive not, slices of pizza yeah, that I don't want. It's not and, very good. And I've never wanted to eat here. So. Yeah, but um, we're in a rare state because this whole seating area is in the exit of Space Mountain here in Disneyland. Yeah. It's, it's back here. And there's no one around, like, nope. there, you know, a few people sitting at tables over here, but, um... We lucked out. No one is going in yeah. line, or, or... Wait, the exit or entrance? This is, is the entrance. Now. This is the entrance, sorry. And we're lucky, yeah, because the ride is broken right now. It is now. totally broken. There's yes. a sea of people waiting and coming yeah. up and finding out that it's broken. Yeah. But, uh, we just went through and we went, hey, can we get to the seating yeah. area? Yeah, come on through. And we just sat down over Yeah, here. so I got, you know... I got a little bit of footage a second ago. You could see it in a very rare, empty state. Yeah. I will say this. I'm going to just speak for myself. I have always loved this area because to me, it's all. It, I think it's something. Uh, what? How do you? It, it feels. Uh, I'm gonna, let me explain. Let me clarify before I comment. Yeah. Too much. It's it's very. I feel like I'm back in the womb. Let me explain this. Okay. <laughs> because. It's very early '80s. Yes. Um, and I'm gonna quote someone. This is I. I don't know if she realizes this, but I've never forgot a tweet um, that uh, our friend Natty made on yeah. Twitter. Uh, she made a tweet years ago that I never forgot, where she took pictures of this area. You could see it above us. All the like metallicness. It. it yeah. It, angles. Lots of angles. Yeah. And she said. This area of, of Tomorrowland is very early '80s, very Epcot core. That's mm. the that's the war term she used, <laughs> Epcot core. Yeah, and I always think about that every time I'm over here. I'm like, it is very Epcot core. It is. I think they redid a lot of this around that again, like late '70s, early '80s, mm. same time they were designing a lot of yeah um, Epcot and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. So because I, back then it was running at like all this technology stuff they were showing off were old. Yeah. Like, we gotta spruce this place up. Yeah. So in the 80s yeah. they, they yeah. redid everything. Yeah. And I know the, the ride itself uh, so we're talking about Space Mountain today. Yes. Just we're going back to the basics the the, the uh, you know just the ba the basic elements mm -hmm. where we talk about one ride and just chat back about it. Back in the park want to talk about just one and, ride. And just going to clarify as usual this ain't this ain't Wikipedia bro we're going to talk conversationally about this. Yeah. About funny stories and stuff. Mm -hmm. So if we get info wrong, that's that's part of the course. That's yeah. how the show works. But anyway, um, yeah. What was um, I'm trying to think here? Uh, when when did they build it? Okay, in Disney World, they obviously had it first. Yes. Didn't they get it in like '73 or '75? What year? I cannot remember. It's the '70s. Both of them are the '70s. Wasn't it '75? Ooh. ooh. Now we gotta look. This is something we should have looked up before we started yeah. recording a whole. Hey, it was built in 2007. <laughs> uh... <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I know we, they had it there like a couple of years before ours. Yeah. I, I know. Yeah. Oh, 70. Oh, it was 77 here. Okay. Um. But it won't. I knew Disney it was like World. late 70s here, but I didn't know what the yeah, year of Disney World yeah. was. Yeah. Yeah. 75. Yeah, because. Uh, because I think when you go through the people mover, they have those signs that say, like, Spaceport 75 yeah, or something just, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just when it opened and uh, all that kind of stuff. So we got it here a couple years later. Okay, yeah. that's fine. Um, but anyway, yeah, so um, 
we yeah so obviously all this stuff reeks of that late 70s early 80s yeah. kind of futurism which i love i yeah. absolutely love i for some reason um you know I, I wasn't at like disneyland all the time as a kid or anything but those few visits in like you know, I'm old enough to remember 80s Disneyland. Yeah. And even in the 90s, it still reeked of 80s Disneyland. Yeah. And uh, the vibe of 80s Tomorrowland, it had a certain feel to it. It did. And then I remember, and, and then that went away, and I never felt that again until going to Epcot a few, like still, five years like, ago. The people who still worked, all that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and, and Epcot, like Spaceship Earth, it just reeks of like how it used to be here in yeah. the 80s, oh, you know. I didn't realize, yeah, they don't have a people mover. No, no, no. They were. They, they planned didn't. for it, yeah. yeah. I never knew until a few years ago that's why the ceilings were so high in the Communicore. Because they were going to have the people mover go yeah, all the way Yeah, they were going to have the track go through. Yeah, you were just pointing out that you could still see the people yeah, mover track right up, here. right up here is just the people mover track. Yeah. Well, maybe you'll that see That hasn't it. been used in years. Yeah, years. that makes me sad every time I look at it. Yeah. But anyway, um, yeah, so I've always loved this area. Um... But I never really go on Space Mountain. I'm not really a roller coaster guy. No. I've been on it a few times, mm -hmm. but it's not something I regularly do. Yeah. But I for a lot of this ride. Yeah, for a lot yeah. of people it's their favorite. Yep. Is it among that for you? Yeah. I forget when we did our top ten, was that in there? I don't, I don't remember. remember. I think it I honestly cannot remember. We did a top ten so long ago. Mm. Uh I think so. I, I like can't it. remember. <laughs> yeah. But I I think I like Big Thunder better. So really? I'm wondering. Yeah, because Big Thunder has more theming to it. This oh, is just dark with stars. Yeah. Like, oh, I do think the lead, I have gone, and, and, and like I said, I've been on the ride a few times. I've been through the queue maybe a hundred times because yeah. I'm always either going with friends or I, yeah. I like, I, I think they do a great job leading up to the ride. Yeah. And there's, and stuff. there's yeah. an exit right there right, right yeah, before yeah. you get on. So, um, but, uh, so yeah, I, uh. I don't know. Yeah, I think there's some really cool theming, but but there Big is. Thunder you you is like more Big your Thunder, kind of thing. It's more more my speed. That's but interesting. This one's awesome because yeah. it's just entirely in the dark, and yeah, they, pretty much is. Yeah, huh? and they mm -hmm. just have stars everywhere. On yeah. it's just projected everywhere. Well, really, it's just a, a, a mirror ball. It's just they have mirror balls everywhere. Yeah, there's no projection or is anything. Is that really what it is? It is. Yeah, you can, you can see the mirror balls when you're when you're on it. Yeah, and I, uh, yeah. It's I, just, that's what they do for stars. Yeah, yeah, I hadn't even really thought about it. Yeah. Uh, we kind of talked that, about this ahead of time, but Kevin really knows kind of all there is to know about being on the ride. Yeah. That's not my expertise. But you I, know the, like, the uh, surrounding I can tell you about the and, queue yeah. leading up to it and the things yeah. after, around it. That stuff I know about. So that's kind of how we're going to divide this up, I think. Did we ever um, tell the story about the, the famous story in the queue that somebody told us that we know? About women trying know. to find the exit. It's been years. I don't remember if we did, but uh, you, you should. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. We'll do it later. Um, yeah. But, yeah. That was Space Mountain. That was the Star Tours? That was this Space Mountain. Oh. It's specifically, because okay. there's a room in the Space Mountain that has like four or five doors. Yeah. And only one of them's an exit. Okay. Well, so, if, we, if we did tell the story before, we apologize, but it's I would, good enough. I it's, it's good, good enough, enough we could take, tell yeah. it again. Yeah. 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 But, uh, yeah. But, yeah. I love this ride, yeah. and um, it's a lot of fun. We could start, like, basically, the whole queue is yeah. almost all outside. Yeah. Didn't it used to, you used to go up an escalator, right? Yeah, there was. And they um, got rid of that. You can still see, it's where the sign for whatever's in the, th yeah, the 3D theater, yeah, yeah, right? the yeah. 3D theater is right here, right. behind the camera. Yeah. And, um, yeah, have, it used to be Captain EO yeah, right there. Yeah, they yeah. have a sign, and that's where Captain EO was, and that's where yeah. Tomorrowland was. Yeah. That is the, like, basically cap they put on. That oh. is where the escalator, because it used to just be an escalator up yeah. to the upper area, and then that's yeah. where the queue was, and then you'd go in. In that whole top yeah. area. It looks like a launch pad almost. At so some it. point in the 90s, they got rid of it, because yeah, uh, yeah. they wanted to get rid of all of their with speed ramps. Yeah, uh, why did they? I don't understand why they did that. I don't know why either. Let me, let me lament for a minute the speed ramp. Yeah. You know, the thing you stand on, and it does the walking for you. They got yeah. them in airports all the time. What? There, for some reason, the Disney parks used to have a billion they of them. They were everywhere. And now... Now, nothing. They're like, gone. Disneyland has one left. Yep. And do you... People at home, do you know quiz, which one quiz it is? Quiz time. Quiz time. You know, let's not even say it. Leave yeah. a comment if you know, you know where, it where is. that... The remaining... The I know final, where it is. You know where it is. Yeah. We were just on it today. Yes. But, you know, people at home, leave a comment. You know yeah. where it is. Um, I'll say at the end of the show, or no, I don't know. I'll say it next time. Yeah. Whatever. There used to be an, a speed ramp up to that, yeah. and um, 
and then you just kind of, I guess you'd queue up there. I was super scared of this ride when I was a kid. Yeah. So I don't remember much of that. No, uh, I was not going on it back then. Um, but now they've designed it in a way where you come up the side here, which is now right. closed, and um, you go up this ramp that's over ahead, and then you queue up in the top. Yeah, there. yeah. Uh, they just recently opened up uh, the second floor of the Starcade. The Starcade was an old arcade that they used to have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. It was yeah. kind of connected in the same. And again, they had another the... speed ramp that went oh. from the bottom, but they ripped that all out. Yeah. And um, why are they so anti-speed like, ramp? I don't know. What's up with that? But like what, five years ago, yeah, they opened up that because it was a nice air-conditioned area that right. you could line everybody up in. And yeah. You didn't have to wait out in the sun because there's no shade out there. Yeah. So now the queue. Yeah, because I, I remember a, for a million whoops a million yeah. years that we did uh, we did our game days event here yeah. and stuff like that. We'd be up on that top floor uh, outside, and uh, I remember a couple of years that Mariel, our friend Mariel, yeah. went. She would always go, "Why is this queue just on the roof of some building?" Yeah, it's on the roof like, of the 3D like, theater. And send it's this like, indoors yeah. or something. And now they, after years, they finally did it. Yep. You go into the air conditioned, nice top half of the Starcade, like you said. Yeah. And the reason why I love that is. For decades, there has been an awesome art mural up there. Yes. Like, like, like for years when you couldn't ex access that top floor, mm -hmm. you could still like go into the gift shop down here and yeah. look up. And way up there, there was this art mural. Yeah. Uh, it almost looks like Robert McCall art, like very mm -hmm. like 2001: A Space Odyssey. I mean, you know, not really, but no, but it's that um, same kind of style. It, again, it's it's a little, maybe not quite, but a little bit at Cot Core. Yeah. <laughs> um, where uh, it just reeks of that kind of uh, late 70s, early 80s yeah. kind of future stuff. Yeah. But anyway, now you can go up there, you could see that artwork. They added... Yeah. They, they built add, like a ship for it. Yeah, there's like... Or, or, I don't know if it's a ship or a satellite or yeah, something, something. cool. But some kind of space vehicle. It's just cool that to see them actually like put effort into things that aren't a franchise. Yeah. <laughs> it's not Star Wars. No, it's, it's not, not anything. It's just yeah. a cool like set piece that they um, hang up there for yeah. to, to look at. Although rest not... Uh, or worry not, I yeah. should say. Rest assured, we will get to Star Wars at some point in yeah. this episode. In case there, you didn't have enough entertainment <laughs> involving Star Wars. Or, uh, you know, Marvel... We don't need to go into Marvel today, but Star Wars no. will be brought up. Yeah. Just like every other piece of entertainment tumbling out of every box in your home. Yeah. We'll make sure it has Star Wars in yeah. it. But, um... But anyway, yeah. yeah. That room's cool. I was stoked. Yeah. I, I could not wait to go back in that room because yeah. it's been closed off for so long. Yeah. And it's been just sealed off. You couldn't go in it. Yeah, it had been decades. Yeah. And then yeah. we have to go in it. I just wanted to go. I didn't even. I was like, screw this ride. I just yeah. want to see this room I haven't been able to go in. Yeah. When uh, there were windows yeah. for the people mover to look into that room when it was yeah. an arcade. Yeah, back when the people mover go through and it all. And now yeah. they put, like, different, I guess solar system or just things in the solar system yeah like, yeah here's the pillars of this and galactic info yeah yeah and uh it's cool because if, if you see those things those used to be windows for the people mover to look into that second yeah. floor um now they're just blocked off and and it's, man it's i miss the, stuff. i miss the people mover i know so much. I, I mean just, i say it every damn episode people are tired of it yeah but man um yeah um yeah so it was really funny when when they opened that queue up yeah that w I really was like, I just want to see. I, no one's been up in this room for decades yeah. in this upper area. I just want to explore that. So we waited in line to go on the for the ride, yeah. and then once we got into that room, just stayed there yeah. and like took we, pictures we of we the let artwork. Go, and we're like, oh, it, that's out. that's when you know you've you've gone too far down the rabbit hole <laughs> as a theme park fan. Yeah, is that you're in line for the ride, and then you get you're there for the line of the ride. <laughs> yeah, you're like, okay, I'm here. And right. that's not the first time that I've ha I've done yeah. that either because, again, they were looking at us like, yeah, what are, what are you doing? This is like one of the top rides in the park. You're not yeah. going on it, you yeah. freak. <laughs> and the same thing happened to me. You weren't there, Kevin. What? But over in Florida, they have, again, the original, the, the original Space Mountain. Space Mountain. And I, uh, there is a lot of stuff in their queue as well. And they've, they've actually got a whole post a post show yeah like after the ride you, you walk exit through a whole through thing all yeah stuff. exactly so we'll talk about that in a minute but you know again I, I think I was on my own or maybe I was waiting for somebody yeah. else and I was kind of just traveling or you know yeah. wandering around on my own and uh, I wanted to see both of those things but I really this, this is the dorkiest thing I'm ever going to share probably on here <laughs> I have all kinds of like when I work at home and, you know, I'm you know, doing emails and I'm, or I'm writing a video or, you know, whatever, whatever I'm doing, 
I put on music. I put on soundtracks. Yeah. I'm sure you can relate to that. I think we both oh, yeah. have a affinity Tons for soundtracks. soundtracks. And I have stuff that's like just collections of stuff people have <laughs> basically, you know, extracted from the Disney parks. Like, oh, through some source I found uh, the yeah. music from this Through a conductive microphone that's stuck through, onto yeah, the speaker yeah, it, to capture it. It's like it. they have like the CIA yeah. report. It like, <laughs> but it's great background music. It's yeah. like, oh, here's all the um, original area music for the Universe of Energy yeah. in Epcot. And I'll it's put preserving it. It's yeah, it's like, people trying to preserve that stuff. Forever. Yeah, and I love, I, I, I don't know, I have a thing for like, there's a kid with a Bazinga shirt coming this way, so <laughs> pay respect. But, um, but uh, I just love stuff like that, yeah. soundtracks, obscure soundtracks, yeah. things like that. I love it. Um, but what was, uh, what was killing me was there's one particular track from the Space Mountain Q. Like, the Space Mountain Q. In Florida. In Florida. Yeah. They play different music there than here. Yeah. So when you're waiting in the queue here, the music they play, it's very random. Sometimes it's just weird, like, kind of like, like, mm -hmm. like, weird space audio. Yeah. And uh, well, coming in, oh, the ship has not arrived, you know, like stuff like that. Yeah. And then sometimes, randomly here, they just play old Epcot music. Like, okay, yeah. like, no one remembers the, the, um, the, you know, background music at the uh, American Adventure Pavilion, so we're just going to play that here. What? Why? You yeah. Know. Oh, um, you know, the World of Motion uh, background music doesn't play anywhere, so we'll just play it here. Who knows what that is? Yeah. You know, and meanwhile, and I'm like, I know. just background music. Yeah, and to me, I'm like, I know what this is. Why, yeah. are, they, why are they playing, you know, uh, World of Motion music here? Why are they yeah. playing... I don't think they play anything from Horizons, but I'm, no, I'm not no. sure. But they play, a lot of, they play a lot of weird stuff here. Yeah. Anyway... But over in uh, in Florida, it's got its own custom soundtrack, mm -hmm. and every room of the queue kind of has a different theme going through it. Yeah. And there is one track that I always thought was dope, <laughs> where it almost would fit on like a Daft Punk album. Okay. You know, because sometimes Daft Punk they have a lot of dancey music, and then they'll have the one like interlude track where it's just low key. Yeah. There is one track called um, it, they call it the Star the Star Tunnel music. This particular arrangement is like still played in the queue, even though it doesn't match the rest of the stuff anymore. So it's so cool. Shh, don't tell Disney. <laughs> but anyway, so I was like, is that? I've heard that song forever. I've I've done my work to that, and that comes on all the time. Mm -hmm. And I was like, does that actually play in this tunnel? So I waited in line just to get to the tunnel. <laughs> And then I was there just, just trying there. to like record, like, was that it? Oh, that's it. It's playing right here. So I'm just standing waiting for that track to come on. And I'm also looking at, they still have like windows into the ride and yep. like things like that. The, the, the theming is very different on the Florida yeah. one and it's great. I almost yeah. prefer it because it's still kind of stuck in the 80s. Yeah. You can tell they updated it like one time. Maybe once. And, yeah. And yeah. it was a long, like, they yeah. updated this one more recently. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, it was awesome yeah in the in the 90s again like you said a lot of this did here did get yeah. upgraded um seems less so there maybe yeah. maybe once but yeah. anyway but uh yeah uh because this particular like this music that i'm talking about i think was added in like 86 or okay. something like that yeah. and it's the same since. yes um and uh so i went in there to hear if that was there it's like oh there it is it's like loud in here oh wow yeah this, it really is i wasn't sure because i could never quite place where it was from because mm -hmm. i never went on the Florida Space Mountain and so I'm just in that tunnel standing there waiting for that track to loop and I'm looking at all the stuff and people in line in there were just like what are you like, doing what is this Rides over what here, is this bro, guy doing bro. yeah like, he can't, they, they were all looking at me like yeah. we're gonna move past you and it's like yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah go, keep go going yeah yeah I'm, just, I'm, I'm, I'm here for what I want yeah I'm, 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 I'm literally I'm just done. like I'm, I and I think so I think I said that they were like what's going on I'm like oh I'm just here for this I'm just here for the music. And I'm listening and I'm looking at all the, the, the window things that they yeah. got in there and just taking it in just because I wanted to know if that's where it was from. I was just curious. Yeah. And yeah, people were looking at me like, what is this guy planning? <laughs> and I had a backpack and they're like, you know, what's in Wait, that backpack? Like, what's not, he, what's he's he not planning going on a ride? This guy's, yeah. this guy's up to something. It's seriously, everyone yeah. was giving me that look like, what's the plan? <laughs> is, he, is he pulling a stunt here? What is this? And I was like, no, I just want to see this. So anyway, uh, so then I bailed on the ride. I was just like, yeah, all right. And I left out the yeah. exit. <laughs> Again, people, a, a whole line of people looking at me going in the other direction. You know, Space Mountain's that way, bro. <laughs> um, but what I love about, we'll just bounce around here. Yeah, but I have no problem bouncing yeah, around. The exit of the Florida Space Mountain yes. is the best. Yeah. Because they've got a whole post show back in, uh, I think, the 70s. Mm -hmm. 
it was sponsored by RCA, and they had a thing called the Home of Future Living. Yeah. Which is like, yeah, walk through what, like, what, like, the home of the future will look like. Mm -hmm. They got a robot dog. They got a robot butler. They yeah. got, you know, stuff like that. And I think it even had, like, a little theme song. Really? Someone just yelled. Oh, what was that all about? I don't think Yellen's going to bring <laughs> Space Mountain back any sooner. But anyway, uh, yeah. so it was like future home yeah. kind of thing. And, again, yeah. used to go through this via speed ramp. Yeah, until... And, until, like, a three years ago. like Maybe, like, yeah. two or three years yeah. ago. And yeah. then it's like, nah, you just got to walk through it. And it's like... Yeah. Okay. Um, I kind <laughs> of... I'm, I'm torn either way on that. Yeah. I'll tell you why. Because okay. I miss... I always miss a speed ramp. Yeah. You got to love a good speed ramp. But two... I do like that now you could just walk in the exit instead of instead of a ramp walking, forcing you like, the other direction. Yeah. Oh, 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 dude, 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 dude it opened up. Oh my god, this is stampede. This is stampede. I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna cut this footage into it. <laughs> dude, seriously, you guys gotta see this. Go, 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 go. Wow. <laughs> okay. Damn. That, this is crazy. I've never seen anything like this. Oh no. This is like the Black Friday um, of rides. Actually, I, I want to ride it, so... Uh, oh, oh, my God. Oh, can you oh, see the episode? Oh, yeah, yeah, I got it, dude. Oh, I, I got, got it. it. Okay. I got you, dude. I got it. Oh, my God. This is insane. I've never seen it. I've never seen anything like this. Wow. Okay, well, I hope nobody got trampled. <laughs> anyway. Jeez, that got crazy quick. That did. Well, anyway... Um, open. But yeah, there's the exit to <laughs> yeah. the... Yeah, yeah. so now that it's not a speed ramp, you can just walk in the exit. And walk, and you can stop yeah. and everything. Yeah, and before. so that's what I did. Yeah. I went in the exit, and uh, I went I went in door number two, and <laughs> the, uh, yeah, it was, now you can just kind of look at all the stuff that's still in there, and some of it, I think, is left over yes. from the f home of future living. I know. I think at least the robot dog is. Yeah, I think some of it they changed... Yeah. Later on, but yeah, there's some stuff left over, and there's paintings sure. definitely that they added maybe in the 80s that yeah. are still there for the backgrounds and things like that. Uh, uh, I told you you're getting really nerdy on this one, guys. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, uh, and and then uh, you know with the the classic Epcot ride that's been dead for a million years, Horizons. Yep. There's stuff that kind of homages that. Mm. Like once they close that, I think a couple things may have made their way in over there, to that right into some of the parts of um, those I think Mountain. at the lift hill. There is a spaceship with two astronauts on it. Yes. I think that's from Horizon. No, it's, I think that's from Spaceship Earth. It, I think they were above the Earth at the end of... Yes. Uh, they used in the original in, ending to Spaceship in the, Earth. In the, yeah. in the top. I, I was so. wrong. Yes, they are, they are from Spaceship yeah. Earth. And they moved them think, over there. But I think there is stuff from... Horizons. Horizons as well. I think so, too. I know there's at least references because uh, in, in all the future home stuff, they've got suitcases for travel. Yeah. And I think one of them uh, has uh, 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 Mesa Verde... Oh, that's and, all stuff. And maybe yeah. like some, something else, Brava, Brava Centauri or something yeah. like that, which are all destinations in, in, in the, in the uh, Horizons ride you could go to at the end. Yeah. Um, so I thought that was kind of cool. Um, okay. But anyway, uh, oh, there's been there's some turmoil going on. <laughs> still, I'm kind of, I'm kind of taken, taken aback by yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, mom! There's definitely <laughs> yeah. trouble brewing. But anyway, um... Yeah, so uh, so I don't know. It's kind of if you're a Disney nerd and you just want to see like yeah. some of the artwork that has kind of made its way into the park over the decades. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're really into that stuff like I am, yeah, it's cool to see that. But um, I never been on the Florida ride, no, the I, actual ride. I've been in the queue. That's I have it. It's fun. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. What do you think compared it, to this one? What do you think? It's older. They replaced all the track in this one in like 2005. It yeah, went open. they they yeah. just. They occasionally will take a ride and just replace the track with new yeah. track. Yeah, and that takes typically that takes a long time. It does. Yeah. I don't think it's a different track layout. No. I think they just. I, I, I honestly don't remember because I rode it like once or twice when I was a kid in, right. the, in like the nineties. Yeah. And I don't remember like back then I was. Oh, going you're like, saying oh. different track layout when they redid the when track? When they redid no, it. No, 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 It's the same. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. what I thought. I, for um, some reason, I thought you meant versus Florida. No, 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 no. Flo that it that is, is different. It yeah. is definitely <laughs> yeah. different between the two parts. But yeah, when yeah. they redid this one, I think they just re so it's way smoother. Yeah. Um, the one in Florida is definitely stuck in the eighties. Yeah, and yeah. it's great for that. Like yeah. I love it, and it yeah. even the cars are are different style yeah. and everything like that. It's, it's definitely stuck in time. The theming, uh, they show like little like video things on like how to sit in it, and they're yeah. all dressed like they're in the eighties. Yeah, like, you can definitely yeah. tell they did not update that video yeah. recently. This is even it's two thousand five, but it's 
really dated because yeah. they're showing like put your thing and it's like put your digital camera yeah. into the thing. It's like nobody brings digital cameras yeah. to the park anymore. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, I remember specifically going back to when they replaced the the, yeah. the track. I was here in 2002, mm -hmm. and I know I remember this vividly because 2002. I remember this was. Um, I went on a trip with Derek. I think Nicole, was, our friend Nicole, was yeah. there. A couple, maybe another person, a couple people, uh, with us. And that was. I remember that day specifically going like, they all want to go on the rides that make me sick. I'm going to go on all of them yeah. and just commit to being and sick. Just go, today. go for it, and see how I feel about yeah. them. And some of them I liked, and some of them I didn't. Yeah. But uh, but we were dying to do Space Mountain, mm -hmm. and when we got here, it was ooh, it just closed. It will open in 2005. Yep. And this was in 2002. Mm. And back then, again, <laughs> the, the longer you're alive, yeah. the faster years go. Yep. But I was still young then, very young then. And you're like, and that is forever. 2002, and you can't come back until 2005, was like, am I even going to be alive? Yeah, I know. In 2005? I'm going to be an old man. I mean, like, yeah, <laughs> where, am I, where am I even going to be? I'm going to be a different person at that point. <laughs> well, I was definitely a different person, <laughs> but... My God, that was at, at the time that was unbelievable. Yeah. Um, it, but it opened with yeah. a new track layout and it's, and it's and new smooth. Thing. It's I mean, so I smooth. remember everyone going on it was like, "This is the smoothest roller coaster yeah. I've ever been on." Yeah. Um, whereas I still know people who on. go on the Florida one and they're like, "This thing's bumping, right? <laughs> it, it's not it, smooth, right? No, not yeah. nearly as smooth. Uh, it is definitely it feels older, which I love yeah. having the difference because I don't want them to change that. Yeah, yeah. Do you, I like the way it is. Did you ever hear? The story about wasn't it around the same time they close they did close the one in Florida, like to do that, and then they didn't. Really? They bailed on it. I didn't hear about that. Yeah, I thought they. Th I, that that sounds in, familiar. That might be in like uh, yo shout out one of my favorite YouTube channels, Martin's Vids. Yeah, because uh, he's got. I love. You Martin's gotta look Vids. up Martin's check Vids. It, check it out. Yeah. It's basically uh, somebody who details every change in a ride yeah. where the thing like it was this room this room oh yeah here's what it yeah changed. goes through everything and they're like two hour yeah. videos they're awesome yeah uh and he, yeah he'll he'll show blueprints he shows every all kinds detail of, stuff. of a ride yeah and uh it was really cool to see uh when he did a space mountain one he went through i think both versions yeah. or no actually i think he stuck to the florida one but there's something in his video where i think he talked about that that they closed it around the same time or maybe after or yeah. something and then it just opened back up it just, it was like, no, weren't they supposed to maybe re replace the Maybe funding fell through or something and they yeah. had to change it and they didn't. But I think it's for the best because yeah. I love that that one's different than it. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. They should be different. Yeah. Um, but uh, doesn't that one have two tracks? Yes. Like they you, can both go can, in different directions? When you get in line, it's almost like Star Tours. Yeah. Where you go like, here's this way, here's this way. Yeah. And this way is a different track. And, the, and you start the lift hill together. Yeah. And then you go off in different things. That's kind of cool. Yeah. I, yeah. Um, is it like Matterhorn where one's faster or anything? <laughs> I think I've been on both, and I don't remember one being gnarlier than the other or anything like that, but they definitely are different. Yeah. Um, they're both fun. Like, That's interesting. Yeah. I wonder if... I wonder if there is like any experts out there yeah, who's like, who oh, you've got to go on like, the left side. Yeah, but it was cool that yeah, you you, you pick and choose a side, and then it's a yeah. different different situation. It's it's a different feel completely right. than, than this one. Right. Um, uh, now, the one thing that I had heard as well is that this our Space Mountain here was one of the first. I don't think it was just for Space Mountain. I think one of the first coasters ever yeah. that had in-vehicle audio. Yeah, it was. They added that here. Yep. But Florida never got that. And, and, they, and still they still don't, don't have, have it. it. That's hilarious. Yeah. They uh, they added the speakers behind the, the yeah. headrest in this one. And, uh, yeah, I thought it was so weird going to Florida and yeah. going on Space Mountain and going, there's no music. The yeah. Music, there is music. Yeah, yeah, But yeah. it's pumped into the room, kind of. Yeah, it's, it's not behind you, right? That's so you kind of just wow. go by speakers, yeah. kind of occasionally, and uh, yeah, it's just totally. It was weird seeing that. Yeah, I can't imagine that on because that was part. Of what was so cool when yeah. I went on it is you had that boom and audio yep. in there. Now I think originally when they originally added the in vehicle audio, it was, it was like Dick Dale music, yeah, like kind of surfer. It was surfer stuff, rock, right? kind of like yeah. When um, you're going through the Space Mountain. But I never went on it until that when it reopened in two thousand five, and then that by that point they added a Michael Giacchino yeah track, which is really cool, and that 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 music is really neat. Yeah, um, and of course Michael Giacchino kills it. Anytime they have him, work, they 
still will ask him to do att attractions and stuff here. He worked with, uh, I think the last thing was he worked with John Williams on Galaxy's Edge music, and they did their own theme for Galaxy's Edge. Yeah, which is awesome. Uh, yeah, which is really cool. Yeah. They, they save that theme for when you like roll into like Rise of the Resistance or you know whatever and it just hits so hard yeah it's really really good yeah um, but anyway uh, yeah so I, I forgot just, about the the in right audio yeah, yeah that, that's really really cool yeah um, but yeah so uh, oh one thing about this one that, that yeah. a lot of people don't know is at the end of the, like now the the queue starts here yeah. right, right behind us yeah, yeah. Um, by the theater at the very top oh yeah it, there used to be a restaurant and yeah. there'll be these like placards above that now like say like uh something in the stars or something and it's all yeah Galaxy journey stuff. through the stars it was just menus yeah for, there were menus up there menus right for a burger place yeah that was that closed like what, probably in the 80s I thought it was around in the 90s, I thought, but I could be I wrong. I've never eaten there, but yeah. yeah. And we actually went to that gallery, and they had the sign from it. They did. On the ground, like, like, wasn't it, was it called the Space Place? Space Place. That sounds was like, it Space Place or Space Bar? It was some, oh, I cannot remember the name. I thought it was Space Place. It, I think it is the Space Place. Yeah. But yeah, that used to be a restaurant right there. And, wow. Uh, and it hasn't been since, I don't ever remember eating there. I just or remember ever, remember seeing. It. I just remember at some point in the early two thousands, someone was able to look either there or somewhere nearby yeah. where they were like, "Look, if you look behind it, the signs are all still there." Yep. Oh, what was it? It's been so long. I'm trying to remember, but somebody had something like that where they took a picture, like they went back somewhere around there, and they were like, "Look, if you lift this up, it's still like See, the signs I, are still there." That's my bread and butter when it comes yeah. to visit. stuff that's still here yeah. that, that's hidden. Yeah, I love that. that yeah. That's exactly. That's, yeah, I'm thought, so into that. I thought maybe it was like when you're in line somewhere here at one of the balconies, you could look down and see a seating area or yeah. something from that, and it was un untouched. It was something <laughs> like it was something like that. That's I, so cool. I might be totally full of it. Yeah, but I think that's what it was. Um, but yeah, I always thought that was really cool. It was. Um, yeah, the uh, uh, basically yeah, going back to the queue, it's yeah. just basically. Outside now they added that area, but once you get inside, it's yeah. nice and cool. Yeah, and you're going down corridors, and now we can get to the story of oh. what the, the thing we might have told us before. Oh but, yes, okay. Um, well, I was about to ask you. I was like, is there a story in Space no, Mountain? That's there, what I thought you were talking just, about. No, but, no, just no. the um, at some point in the queue is this kind of like L shaped. Area yeah. where you can go and now you're in the big room that where you yeah, loading yeah, yeah. is and stuff yeah. like that. But that's designed as like a almost like a spaceship doorway. Yeah. Where right. there's like four doors. Sure. And one of them is the one you go through that's open. Yeah. All of them are fake, except for one that says exit uh, that you can push and then you can leave yeah, the ride yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Well apparently somebody told us this story mm. that somebody a woman needed to go to the bathroom super bad in a lot. And, and you know, <laughs> oh, like, yeah. there's all this stuff up here and everything. So it was probably a really long wait or anything. Yeah. And you need to go to the bathroom really bad. So they're like, okay, yeah. just go down this hall hallway and then you'll see a bunch of doors. Just push the one that says exit. It'll open. You can exit and go. Yeah. To the, the bathroom is right near the exit. Right, right, Go right. for it. There's a camera in there. Yeah. So you can kind of see how many people are going into the, where right. the load area is yeah. and stuff. And so they can see that, and they drink, and the woman runs down, goes to all the doors except the right one, <laughs> can't find it. Yeah. So it just drops trow and just annihilates that place. Frosted it like a cake. Yeah. <laughs> and, and then uh, I, I guess left the, like, maybe, did, did she go on the ride? I don't know. She was I done don't now. Know. I don't know if she went on the ride. <laughs> I don't remember that, but she stayed in the park. <laughs> like, she got a change. Of, like, I think they found her and gave her a change or something yeah. like that. And she was like, cool, and stayed in the park. I would not have I stuck would have around. been mortified. That would have been a, a long drive home. <laughs> yeah. Man, I can't even imagine. Like, Jeez. I, <laughs> but, yeah. I always uh, every time I go through that that yeah. area, I think about that. Yeah, you think about I'm trying not to think about doing it too much. I mean, clearly she <laughs> it worked out okay for her, yeah. so you could try it. <laughs> um, yeah, I always thought that was Star Tours for some reason. No, but that doesn't. No, you're right. You're no, right. It, it's definitely because I see that I, I see that exit sign and I I see it and I go. Yeah. I think about that story every single time I go yeah. by. Yeah, that's yeah. unbelievable. Oh my god! But uh, as for the ride, there's another surge. What's going on here? 
What's with I don't this? know what happened. What's with all the surge? Like maybe it broke down again and then yeah, they, maybe. they brought it back on. Because sometimes it'll just pop on the app. Yeah. Because this is definitely a whole group. Ooh, oh, they're telling people what they're people running too too fast. Dang, but, they're in trouble. Yeah. Um, anyway, yeah. have you ever, when you get on the ride on this this one, yeah, there is like a person that's looking, and I think they they give the go ahead for every vehicle, mm, and I think yeah. they weigh the vehicle yeah. when it's coming in to that little station and yeah. stuff. You can either go right to start the ride, yeah, or you can go left, and if you go left, you're done. Basically, oh, you, yeah. you, you they you have to they have to bring out this little uh, this little step thing to oh. the because you go into this behind the stage area yeah. they go like yep your ride vehicle is overweight or not it's, yeah if something was heavy. up something was fishy yeah. or anything and and I've done that one time and it's cool though because you get to walk by the computers that run the entire ride Whoa. they're they're just in this cage yeah, area yeah that's cool and so they 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 undo you and they they you step out of the thing and you yeah. walk it you get to ride again they <laughs> yeah, they just yeah, give yeah. They, get, they cut you into the line. Yeah. But it was cool because you get to walk by this cage that is basically the brain of this entire ride. Yeah. And I thought that was really cool. I, I didn't know that at the time, then I was told that later on. Wow. Uh, that this cage yeah. machinery. That's cool. Yeah, is the that's brain the kind of the thing ride. I love. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it makes me want to go on. Yo, if any uh, big, if any of the Big Belly crew want to join me, <laughs> let's go on it and make sure we can go I see know. that. No, yeah. I'm just like. <laughs> I, I know crazy. I've talked about this on here before, but I still crack up about going on Small World. <laughs> yeah. And it was all, du- it, it was, yo, shout out to everyone at Game Days. No yeah. disrespect. They were all dudes. There's another rush. Going I know. Through. It was all dudes my size. It was yeah. all dudes my size. And we all got in the boat and it like tipped. It was like capsizing. Mm-hmm. And then a, 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 a cast member came over and pulled our boat aside like, hey guys, we're going to um, distribute you uh, in across uh, different boats, you know. We just need uh, some boats a little extra pixie dust, and uh, this one, you know, we're not whatever. And then one of the dudes in the boat was just like, "Yeah, we're we're all like we're all too heavy. I get it." And then she I went, understand. and then she was like, "Well, yeah, okay, yeah, that's what it is." I thought that was really funny. Yeah. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, yeah, that will happen. But yeah, um, they'll, but they'll take care of you. They'll but, take care um, of you. The ride is pretty simple. There's not a lot of yeah. drops. Um, it's yeah, just, that's that's the way I was able to go. I've been yeah. on it a few times because my thing is drops. There's and, a very and little dip not, yeah. in it. At one point, yeah. but they want it. It's enclosed. It's yeah. completely so they don't want to like. You're very limited in space, and when you drop, it takes a lot of the like. Now you've wasted a lot of uh, yeah. height to it. Yeah, and so it just it's a lot of uh, turning. I think it's turning one way almost the whole time. You're just it, like yeah, it really. It, that's yeah. I, that's what I was surprised by. It's really just hard turns yeah. again and again. It kind of just does the same thing. It go over and over. Yep. And so that's how I was able to tolerate it's it. It's not I, too bad. No, I, I, I still don't normally no. go on it, but it was doable because it kind of yeah. you could get used to it. Yeah, kind of. exactly. Yeah. And and there's a bunch of that. And then there's one left turn, and that's when they take your photo. Yeah, that's, you know, oh, you know the okay. ride's over because it goes left. Yeah, and then they, they okay. take your photo on re-entry. Yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, there's a lot of there's at the lift hill of this ride. There's this asteroid. That they don't oh. light anymore. Yeah, because what's they the said deal it with looked that? weird. Yeah, it looked like yeah. a cookie. Um, <laughs> yeah, I've always heard about this. Yeah, and it's still there. If yeah. you look, you can. If you look hard enough, you can still see it. Yeah. Um, they just don't light it, so you, it's just really dark, right, and, right, and right. it's just there. But yeah. it's cool. It's like old remnants of something they had. I don't know if they put that in the 2005 re- redo or something. And I don't it know. Off. I really don't. Yeah. But um, but yeah, it was uh, not. It, it was there for just a bit, and they're like, yeah. eh, this, How doesn't, funny. this doesn't look good. How so funny. It's still there. It's just not lit up. Um, um, is the, does the Florida one kind of repeat itself like that, or is it very different in that regard? Uh, in, in terms of, like, turning? Yeah, yeah. I think it's very similar in that regard. Uh, it has a couple other different things, but I uh, still okay. think it only turns one way the whole time. Mm. But it has a couple different things. And, again, um, uh, having the two separate... Yeah. things I think they it's hard it's been a year since I've been on it so I'm trying to remember yeah I went on yeah. this like a month ago or a couple yeah. weeks ago so it's easier but yeah um, it's relatively similar in that uh, in that regard one thing that is cool is that the people mover goes through it so yeah. you, you can't see that from the ride perspective yeah. but from the people mover perspective I love it you can yeah. see it especially it's... when um, I actually got a video of this if the ride breaks down they turn all the lights on. Yeah. So yeah. if you're if you're lucky to be on the people mover, yeah. you can just see the ride as as it is. Yeah. And a I lot of people that. don't like that because it is 
very enclosed. Like, like everything. Yeah, is, it kind of spooks people. It kind of spooks bit, people right? how close they are to yeah. the, the ride track above them. But they test it. They like. There's no way you're gonna clip your hands. Yeah, or, yeah. Oh, I'm too tall. I'm gonna hit my head. Yeah. There's no way. But yeah, they wouldn't still, run it if you no. could. But yeah, yeah. People still get like. Ugh. It looks ooky. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. But, yeah, uh, I love that. I love that the people go, people mover goes through that in Florida. Yeah, I missed it, that. It was so cool. Yeah, totally. And I think they used to do it here, but they blocked it off yep. years and years and years ago. Yep. Um, and I was also told that there apparently are like hats and bags and stuff that are still like they they fall off, but they don't fall to the ground. They just get caught in like <laughs> like on a bolt or something, yeah. and they just get left there. Wow! And they've been like it's like 15 years. This hat, this old dusty hat, is just still hanging there. Dude, I bet there's from, good stuff in there. Oh, I bet you. <laughs> like, Dude, someone was telling me that here, or maybe it was Guy, our good friend Guy Selga. I think uh, he was the the monorail station here in Anaheim had a copy of Home Alone 2 on VHS that was like <laughs> in there for years. Like you could see it in the in the you know beams or whatever yeah. and it was like there until i think i think until construction recently oh man i would until, I, would, I would do the construction fix it yeah. and put it back yeah like, it's kind of kind of unbelievable it's iconic yeah. uh it. yeah put it back come on <laughs> whoops oh, not cute. oh audio is gone <laughs> but anyway um yeah 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 what were you talking about oh yeah oh, the hat wasn't there a story to, I, I feel like every ride there's a story oh someone got beheaded not on this one not on this one what no, was no. it wasn't there something? I don't think anybody's gotten hurt on Space Mountain. I thought I thought this was the one. Oh, well, let me see. Let me see. Well, I know someone got beheaded on, uh, on, on American Adventure. Uh, no, 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 no. It was uh, America Sings. Yeah, that's what it's called, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Couldn't think of it. The Carousel Progress Building. Yes. Uh, but I don't. I don't know if anybody got hurt on this one. Well, guess what? We're gonna yeah, find we're out. Gonna find out. I will say real quick, uh, yeah. that, um, there's a sign out front that says Space Mountain, but at some point they were going to do Rockin' Space Mountain here, yes. where they just changed the audio, Yeah. and um, they built it into the sign. So if you look at it the right angle, yeah. you can still see where it will say Rockin', but they just yeah. flip a switch to turn on the lights for it, yeah. but it's hidden in the Space Mountain sign, Yeah. and um, I don't think they ever used it or didn't use it very long. But yeah, it says Rock and Space Mountain on it. Yeah. And I think they just changed the audio when you go. Didn't, didn't they run it where they played uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers? They did. Or something? Yeah. Because people were telling me, I remember when that happened, again, this is a million years ago, people yeah. were like, yo, this is like Guitar Hero. <laughs> like some, something okay. they said, it was it was like going through Guitar Hero. Has uh, anybody heard on it? Supposedly, let me see here. Supposedly, there may have been a beheading on Matterhorn. Oh, okay. Back in the day. Back in the day. I'm trying to find out, but I'm not seeing too much. But every every ride, I feel like I always hear it. Didn't someone get beheaded? <laughs> I think that this. I think it's just the rumor spread to every single ride. It's yeah. like Heimlich's choo choo train. I yeah, I heard somebody got their uh, head just knocked off <laughs> on that ride. They tried to smell yeah, and they lost they, their they, nose. They, yep, gone. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah. So. Well, that settles that. Yeah. Um, the exit here sucks. Like, it is just basically... Space Mountain? Space Mountain. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. basically just leave, Yeah. and then here's your ride photo, and then a bathroom, and you, you walk yeah. out. Yeah. The one in Florida we yeah. already talked about is so much better. Yeah, it gives you all the stuff to look at. It's like a yeah. long a long slow goodbye. Yeah. Um, it's so nice. Yeah, it does make this one look kind of bad. And, yeah. And there used to be an animatronic robot. Um, at it, Like, before you get out of the ride vehicle, just when you stop... Before the unload area, the next stop. Here? Yeah, here. There was there an animatronic am- robot. It was just a robot that would just kind of do this. And that was it. I, don't, I didn't know it about was this. Right, it was right out, like, you could just see it right outside the thing. It wasn't yeah. a very uh, sophisticated robot or anything right, like that. Right, right, right. That's but, fine. But it was there, and it hasn't been there for years. I think they got rid of that in the 90s, maybe? Really? Um, I had no idea. The spot is still there. It's just um, empty now. It's okay, kind of like how in... Pirates of the Caribbean. There was that extra pirate at the end. Um, yeah. Next to the guy on the on the cannon. Yeah. And they just got rid of him, and now it's just a spot there. Yeah. It was yeah. that. It was basically there was uh, this robot there, and now now it's not there anymore. That's so um, funny. Was it? Uh, I can try to find a video for it uh, for the, for this or, or later or something like that. Well, this but, this came up, but this looks like it's Florida. Yeah, that is that that is Florida. I, yeah. I cannot remember. Damn, now I want to know. 
Yeah. But I can find old ride ride throughs of it. Yeah. At okay. The end, and it's just it's just How a, funny. I never it's knew just that. a little robot. Yeah, I never knew this. Yeah. And uh, which was cool. Yeah. Um, again, as a kid, I was super scared to go on this ride. Yes, me and too. I, I didn't like, even didn't even bother. Um, I ended up doing it and. Uh, I don't think I enjoyed it. I had this thing where I went on everything here as a little kid, and I was like, this is too scary for me. Yeah. And then when I came back as an adult, yeah. I'm like, oh, I don't like that ride. It was too scary for me. Yeah. <laughs> but I go on it, and I go, yeah. wait, this is fun. I just hated it when I was nine. Yeah, like, it's funny. Or, or, or six. Yeah. Like, like, there's certain... There's certain things that you make up your mind when you're a kid, yeah. and then you go, wait, I'm a man now. Yeah, it's so like, what? And I go on this. Like, Indiana Jones was that. I was like, Indiana Jones was, was gnarly. Yeah. And so when I went back on it in like 2002 yeah. or 2003, yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh, this is, this is going to be a gnarly ride. I was like, no, this is like my favorite ride. Yeah. But as a kid, it, it was so much scarier. Too, too, yeah, it was intense. Like, yeah. I, I, every now and then, uh, those things will still catch up to me, by the way. Like, I had towels at home that when I moved out, my family gave me a bunch of towels. Yeah. And I was like, man, these towels suck. And there was still part, even now, there was still part of my brain that's like, wish my family didn't give me these towels. I, I, like, <laughs> I, I like other types of towels better. And I was like, you idiot, you can go buy towels. <laughs> that will still happen to me every yeah. now and then. Yeah, it happens. It you happens. know, it's like, I'm, you know, I've been a grown-ass man for a while, <laughs> I think. Why am I still thinking about this, you know? Um, you know, it's like you just... But but as a kid, you solidify mom and dad buy towels. Yep. I take the towels, you know? Yep. Like that... It's weird. Exactly. You, know? you have to deprogram almost. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I was kind of in the same... Yeah, I just I was too scared to go on it when I was younger. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, so I didn't really try. Yeah, I, I was probably in my 20s by the time mm. I tried it. But um, you don't like roller coasters in general, even though you no, tried no, it. No. It wasn't really. No, I couldn't great. really do the rest of them again. But yeah. th but this one I could. Yeah, this I just, one's pretty, just don't prefer pretty tame it. For, yeah. for a mountain roller coaster yeah. here at Disneyland. And the, this and, one's pretty tame. And the theming is cool. Yeah. I think. Now, did you? I can't remember. Did you go on the one in Disneyland Paris? Yes. Um, <laughs> you want to talk about that? There, yeah. There's. A space, I never went on. I never even went Space Mountain. I've been on it twice. Okay. Both themes. Um, oh yeah. There is a Space Mountain at Disneyland. I mean Disneyland Paris, called uh, like Space Mountain Mission Two or yeah, something like that. I think it's. I don't like think that. it was originally called that, but I think the one I went on was like the redesign. Oh. It wasn't the original original, oh, but it wasn't okay. the one they have now. Yeah. Um, it is great. Yeah. Uh, it is. My, it, again, because it was built after this one and after Florida, yeah, um, they had way, they had Sorry, way no, more. That kid, someone's puking. <laughs> um, they have way more um, like technology and yeah. like that. So basically, it is a much, much like gnarlier ride. It has a yeah. loop. It has like yeah, it's the only one, right? Yeah, that has a loop. It has a loop and all this stuff and. But it still has that charm. It's still dark inside and has yeah. like almost neon aesthetic. Oh. But when you go through like uh, like a turn, oh, it'll okay. have this like neon red and everything. Yeah. Really cool. Uh, but it's all oh sorry. You it's all say? Jules Verne. Is what I think it's yeah. Say. And then and, and like they shoot you to the moon. Yep. And don't you go out of cannon? Yes. Yeah. Um, that that was my favorite part of the ride because this one you kind of just go up a lift hill, you go around a corner, it does a little countdown, right, and then you right. start and you yeah. go like this. This one, you start ground level. Right. And yeah. you go around this turn, and it's stupid. They take your photo. They go around this turn, does this little dip. They take your photo. Is and you go there? Yep. Oh, that. And it's like, you're not even on the ride yet. Yeah. But you stop, and then this, like, slide comes up, and, and you can see out into the park. Yeah. And then it closes, like yeah. you're being loaded into a gun. Right, right. And then it just launches you up the side of the mountain. Wow. You can see it from the outside, too. Yeah. Um, up into the top of the mountain, and then the ride is is going all through the the, the rest yeah. of the mountain. Uh, super. That's my favorite type of roller coaster to launch is not going up a lift. I don't really like the lift hills because uh, they're just kind of stressful and like, oh, I'm getting higher. And higher. Yeah, I, and then I you go down it. a big drop. Yeah, I much rather go super fast huh. uh, yeah. and do it that way because then you're just, just it's fun. Yeah, but uh, that's how this one's designed. Wow, it yeah. was uh, set up still like Jules Verne yeah. stuff. Uh, since then, they've done a Star Wars overlay for it. That's right. And it has been there ever since. Yeah. I went, I went in like 2017, I think. Oh, okay. 
That was the last time I went. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's been Star Wars every... They, they never change it back. They call it Hyperspace Mountain, yep. right? So that's an overlay that they did here. But they in, only do it for, like... Yeah, here, whenever we get it, it's, like, for a week, and then yeah. it goes away. And it's, it's like, during, oh, like, Star Wars, yeah, like, May the may, Fourth Be With You. May like, the Fourth Be With yeah. You. Yeah, all that kind of stuff. But, uh, yeah, it's just temporary here, and they yeah. just left it, which really sucks. Yeah. Because I love that old Jules Verne theme. Yeah. Uh, of that ride and uh, I think yeah that one's stuck in that one we get um, Star Wars overlays over time which basically is just projections of um, like Millennium Falcon going by or TIE Fighters shooting as you're going around turns and things uh, yeah I've that, never seen it I've yeah. never seen that version uh, there's ride throughs and stuff and that will go away like in May and stuff yeah, yeah, yeah but in the like October, yeah. it, this turns into Ghost Galaxy, yeah, which I love. Oh, really? Because it is only again temporary, yeah, and it's yeah. not like temporary like Haunted Mansion ho holiday is temporary, yeah. where it's like six months out of the year. Yeah, it's only here for Halloween, uh, so it's only really like October. Yeah. But yeah. they project stuff on the outside of the mountain, so it's all green. It looks spooky. corrupted. I, yeah. I really like, like that. Grr, yeah. Grr, and, yeah, and they play this like. It's not even scary music. It's almost scary space sounds. Yeah, yeah. Like, and it, it's really loud, so yeah. it's like unnerving. It's it's really fun, and then you just go on the ride, and yeah, there's just a ghost in space, like a space ghost. Yeah, um, space ghost. And uh, <laughs> um, it's like built out of a. It looks like made out of a galaxy. Yeah. And it just it'll chase your. It's the same ride. It's just projection to chase your vehicle and yeah. and all that stuff. It's it's fun. I Wasn't like there it. a big jump scare in it? Um, at the end, yeah. When you're yeah, done, what's the deal with that? Yeah. When, when you're uh, when you're done and they take your photo, you're about you you go about you go you make a right turn just to get into the loading area, right. unloading area. Yeah. And right before you do that, it goes in front uh, of you. It's never really scared me that much. Um, really. But you can you can it just it happens every time. Uh, uh, wow. But uh, it it's cool. It's only cool because it's only there for a month yeah if it was there for any longer i'd be like okay yeah get rid of it get rid but, of this but the elus the elusivity yeah. of it is kind of cool it's like when when you get a christmas overlay or something or or yeah or like jungle cruise gets this christmas overlay yeah. it's not there forever yeah it's there just long enough where it doesn't get annoying yeah. and uh it's i feel that way the same way here if this was permanently space mountain like hyperspace mountain i'd yeah. be bummed yeah, yeah like really bummed yeah definitely um yeah, were there any other themed versions? Not that I know of. I don't think so. Again, the rockin' one. Rockin' they one. The, but they just changed the music. Right. But I can't think of another one where they, they've had an overlay. Other than the lights being on. <laughs> that, yeah. That changed the ride completely. Right, right, right. Um, yeah, I don't think there's another overlay that they've done. They, I have a feeling they might come up with new ones, but yeah. those are the ones they stick with. Yeah. Those are the regulars. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And, and what a shame, though, about the, the the Paris one. I know the Paris one is so much fun, but it really bites that it's just permanently Star Wars now. Yeah. Uh, now Tokyo, I think, is just what is it? Which one? Which I one does it replicate? Ours I, or the Florida I one? I think so. I can't remember. I it might be ours because they do like they go. I want that, yeah. and they'll build this identical version of something here from here. Yeah. Or uh, I think one of them is. I can't remember. I think it was Shanghai, China. Oh no, it wasn't Shanghai. One park just wanted our castle. Like, yeah. I think it was, it can't, I can't remember which I one. I think that was Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Yeah. They're like, yeah, we just want that. It's like, it's way although, smaller. It's like, yeah, we want that. Although now they're rebuilding it. Oh, they yeah, are? They're, they're, they, it's getting its own total oh, redesign. I see that. Yeah, where it's way taller. Because I yeah. think, like, they, they didn't <laughs> end up liking mind. it or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was something like that. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to look up Tokyo Disneyland Space Because I've never been to Tokyo Disneyland. I've never been to any of the um, China parks or ja uh, Japanese parks. It's it's a cool one. Uh, let me see. Uh, along with its Disney World counterpart, part of one, it is currently one of the only Space Mountains without an onboard soundtrack. Okay. Uh, it's let's see. Um, Almost an exact clone of Disneyland. Okay, so it's almost the exact clone of yeah. this one. As it had opened in 1977, apart, apart from some outside architectural elements. Okay. Uh, uh, what was I going to say? What was happening just now? I thought a fire alarm was going off. Yeah. Um, 
yeah, the all I had kn all I knew ever about the Tokyo Disneyland one was I've seen videos. There's a video that someone took, and I can't remember who, but they took just there's someone on YouTube that was just setting up a tripod and filming parts of the park at night. Yeah, you know, and it was really cool, really relaxing. Yeah, to watch, and uh, he posted uh, one that was just Space Mountain closing at night, mm -hmm. and it's so funny when that ride shuts down for the night. They make an announcement, and it is like the original announcer. Really? When, once they get to the English part, they, yeah. they say it in Japanese. When they get to the English part, it's like I forget the name of the actor. He's a big voice actor yeah. that that did all the original announcements. I'm talking since back in the day. Yeah. And they still use that. I forget what his name is. I can't remember. Bill but, something or Dick I, something. I know, I know exactly what you're talking about because I looked him up because I think he did um, Fantasia. Some overlay of the yeah. conductor at the beginning. I was like, yeah. this guy sounds familiar. Oh, he did the announcements for the parks. Yeah, so like they, they, they play his audio, and it's like, Space Mountain has concluded yeah. for the night, you yeah. know, or whatever. And people were like, oh, my God, they're still playing that recording. <laughs> so it was kind of neat. That I is, just thought that, that was that is that's really That's the cool. only thing that I've ever seen about yeah. the, the, the Florida one, or the, I'm sorry, the Tokyo one. Yeah. Um, I don't know anything about Shanghai having one no. or... Hong Kong. I don't know if they do or what. Once again, right is another like group of people. Big, like, they must. They must have like lowered the thing. Oh yeah, you're good. You're, good. <laughs> you're all good. Um, yeah, they must like lower the the time or something. They're like, oh, it's, it's thirty minutes. Go. Yeah. And uh, that kind of stuff. Yeah. But yeah, that's weird. Yeah, maybe they have like a lightning lane or something. Or they might fast pass or whatever. Yeah. But anyway, uh, yeah. So. Um, yeah, I never really walked around the Tokyo one. No. Their, their Tomorrowland is kind of neat, although they used to have. Oh, what, what, they used to have the waterfall things. Or yeah, something the from, waterfall that, pylons that, think, that Disney World used to yeah. have, or, or Magic Kingdom. I think they still do. I yeah. think they're still there. Because Tokyo Disneyland builds stuff and then takes care of yeah. it. Like, yeah. don't touch this yeah. kind of thing. I yeah. always want to see those because uh, Magic Kingdom had those and there were waterfalls. Yeah. Like the entrance to Tomorrowland. The giant like, pylons. And yeah. they got rid of them. Yeah. But yeah, they're still. In, I think they're still waterfalls too. I yeah. Think. Uh, no, I think so. Oh, those look so cool. Yeah. I, I want to go one, one of these days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go there, go Disney Sea. Yep. I want to stay a few days. Yeah. It'll still be cheaper than the Star Wars Hotel. Yep. But yeah. Um, you could probably go to all the Chinese parks too uh, for the, the price of a Star Wars. I know, probably, yeah. huh? Let's go. Yeah. Travel open or what? Can we, can we do that now? Uh, anyway. Um, I can't think of another thing about this Space Mountain. I've done, yeah. I know more about this one than any other Space Mountain. Well, I, I was going to say, the stuff uh, around it. Yeah. Uh, the, the uh, like, again, in the queue, once you get into the loading zone, there's all kinds of vehicles. Yeah. Space vehicle stuff hanging yeah. above you yeah. and, you know, whatever. And all of that was designed by, I believe, I hope I don't have the name wrong, I'm sorry if I do, George McInnes, I think was okay. his name. And he designed, he was one of Disney's top designers, so he like, they had him design everything for The Black Hole, that movie The Black Hole. Yeah. And man, if you watch that movie, it's like, it's oh yeah, you have, the same, you have the same designer yeah. designing all this mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah, it's, it's perfect, you yeah. know, it really works. I don't know if the movie's good. No, but That's the, up for debate. the theming and the, the aesthetic of it is yeah. really cool. The art design and yeah. stuff like that. You can't beat it. But uh, anyway, so I always thought that was cool about it. In the, in, in the DNA of the ride. Um, aside from that, yeah. I mean, I don't have much too much else to say about no, it. No, I think we covered it. Yeah. I think. Yeah, I mean, I, I that it, forever more will be the ride that all my friends always want to go on yeah. and I'm always like okay cool I'll look in the gift shop yeah you know that that's how it's been my whole life and I never minded mm -hmm. um, and sometimes I will go in the queue because I think it's cool I think it the is. way it's all designed is cool yeah um, but that's about it you know that's all, that's all I'll try to find me. you that picture of that animatronic robot at the end yeah oh uh, in the queue for Space Mountain in Florida there's a lot of set dressing, so um, like you're going through the queue, and it's a lot of rails and things yeah. that look like this yeah. right here. Again, because I think that a lot of this was designed around the same time. Yeah. But in the queue, there aren't planters like this. You've seen all these plants; mm -hmm. they don't do that. There's pits of like balls. I I, I saw that. Yeah. It was just like yeah, it's like a ball pit. Random pits of yeah, balls. Yeah, you can't jump in or anything. It's so just... the question has always been: Are the balls soft or are they hard? Yeah. Or what? So leave a comment what you think. How, what do you think the balls are like? Are they bouncy? I don't know. Yeah. 
I'm gonna find a picture of that. You got we gotta look that up. Yeah. Uh, but I remember space. seeing that. And I'm like, what? What is with? Like, it's a weird aesthetic of like a weird design choice. That's it. Yeah. Space Mountain Balls. Yeah. See, look, look, look. There it is. Yep. Pizza I remember balls. those. <laughs> what are the What are the balls like? I gotta know. I gotta yeah. know. They look like the same kind of balls that they were trying to put in the uh, water supply. Oh, Remember yeah. there was a time where they were dumping balls into the L.A. River or something? Not the L.A. River, yeah, but, you know. It, to block light, yeah, to block light to, I guess, kill algae or something? Uh, it was to prevent as much uh, uh, evaporation. Oh, yeah, to cool it down so yeah. it didn't... Oh, yeah. I don't know if that worked, though. I don't know either. Mm -hmm. But I remember that. That was, a, that was the thing they would do, the just black-colored balls to... Yeah. To, yeah. Yeah, I forgot about that. Anyway, um... That's all I can think of, though. I mean, I'm really just... Like I said, only been on it a few times. I don't know if there's anything else you, you know... No, I think I covered it. Yeah. Um, I don't know. What's going next? I don't know. <laughs> oh, 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 no. I should I should say uh, our friend Eric uh, took a photo on... Because, again, they take your picture at that I, one part. I, I yeah. And he took a picture that I think has gone on to be seen more times than I any image I've everywhere. ever... everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Uh, are you in it? No, I, I wasn't there that photo? day. Oh, okay. Who all is in it? Is it Eric and... I think Eric and Frank, maybe? I don't remember. It's been a while since I've seen that photo. But... But I, see it, I saw it everywhere. Where they pretended they had an empty seat. Yeah, and in the Eric photo, wasn't sitting in, next to anybody. Yeah. But everybody else was, yeah. And in the photo, they pretended that that person was gone. They were like... Lost in space. They're like... Oh! Yeah, and, and that photo, I, I've seen that posted yeah. on every website I've ever been to. Yep. It's unbelievable. It really <laughs> is crazy. Um, anyway, so take we'll, we'll take a look for that. You know, take a look at that image. Keep an eye out for it. Yeah. You'll see it. Um, aside from that, yeah, that, that, yeah. that might be pretty much it. Yeah. Well, um, yeah, Space Mountain thoughts. <laughs> Let us know in the comments. What's your favorite Space Mountain? Yeah, which version of the? Because there is always the debate of Florida yeah. versus Disneyland yeah. versus Paris and stuff like that. What's your favorite version of it? I would like to know. Yeah. Uh, I did. I did think it was. Uh, I did think it was fun to see. Uh, they they uh, in that movie Tomorrowland, there are Space Mountain structures. Yeah. In when they go when they go to Tomorrowland, mm -hmm. and then isn't there something too where it, they, I know that in other movies they've had it looks like there's Space Mountain kind of like. Architecture. Almost, they're almost like vehicles, like and they and they look like the Space Mountain. Yeah. Uh, uh, there's even artwork out here above Buzz Lightyear where it makes it look like it's part of like, it's something that orbits the their planet or something. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. So they've, they've used that design in a couple ways. I can't remember who designed the mountain Space Mountain. If that was a John Hinch yeah. thing, I don't or, know. Or, uh, it looks awesome. It's like a it's like yeah. a cone with a bunch of. Stripes along the side, yeah, like, yeah. like uh, I always thought that was a cool design. Do you, do you remember in the late '90s? Because they tried to redo Tomorrowland here in the late '90s. They painted it. <laughs> they painted it, it uh, like bronze. Br yeah, it was like it looked. It was, it was brown. Ugly. It was ugly as hell. And it was and then, always white. And they're like, okay, yeah, change it back to white. I don't remember ever even seeing it that no, way because I, I quickly never went it was to, white again. I never went to Disneyland during that era. Yeah, during the Rocket Rods. I never saw it. No, I never it, saw it. Any was, of that. It was People Mover and then abandoned. I think I went, I definitely went in the like late 80s yeah. and then early 90s. I remember going in 95 because Indiana Jones had yeah, just opened. Yeah, that was my most vivid yeah. time at Disney. But then I did not go again until some t early, two again, like yep. 2002. Yep. So at there was least, a huge gap I didn't go. At least seven years, yeah. yeah so that it, it must have been during that time. Yeah. I don't. I just. Yeah. I never. I got, never saw it. Once I people saw told photos. me. Once people told me like, man, it's better than when it was brown. I was like. When was it brown? Yeah. What? Are you kidding? Now, see, I'm like that with uh, It's a Small World. I'm like, man, I remember when this is all pastel colors. Yeah. And not white. And it's like, wait, what? Yeah. There was a brief window. When I went when I was, was a kid. It was all pastels. It was all pastels. White is how it originally was yeah. in the 60s. So they brought it back to that. But mm -hmm. yeah, for a minute, it was all pastel colors. Yeah. And uh, when they built Toontown, they... They added a little extension of Small World as it like blends into the trees of Toontown, mm -hmm. and that was all pastel colors. And then when uh, 
the pastel went away and they made Small World white again. They just painted that extension like green to, so it would blend in with the trees. <laughs> so you could kind of still see it. I, yeah. I don't know if you can now because it's all under construction yeah. now. But uh, they just pla- they were like, it's all geometric shapes, but it's all green. They're like, yeah, screw it. We don't want to paint this again. <laughs> it's green. It's part of the tree. We yeah. don't care. Speaking of which, Toontown is under construction yep. now. It's gonna- completely behind walls. Yep. They are renovating it, changing yeah. some stuff yeah. to get it all ready for the new uh, ride, the Mickey, the Mickey, ride, Mickey yeah. ride that's going I hope that's cool. I, st- I haven't been yeah, on the one in Florida. You're going to take it out here soon. Yeah, I'm going to try to go on the one in Florida. I'm, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm At the end of the month, I'm going to be on the East Coast for a little while, so I'm going to try to do that, and we'll see how that goes. Yeah, but, and yeah. I think they've already said that our, the, the version we're getting will be a little different. Well, there, there's some effects. Like extra add. room or Ex- two extra or something, stuff, too. Which is yeah. great. Like, yeah. Because when you have more time to do it, I mean, it's better than just doing a cookie cutter same, yeah. same thing. I always like that you get, put yeah. a little extra sauce yeah, on it. Yeah, just change it up a bit. And let's be real. California's better. <laughs> like, let, we deserve it. You know, Don't we deserve it? Haven't we been good to the people? <laughs> I don't know. Um, but, yeah, anyway. Yeah. Uh, so I'll have to check that out. Um I'll let everybody know. Any other stuff that we didn't get to talk about? Not not with Space Mountain. No, just in general. Any we other covered things? a lot the last step, like the Tombstone Yeah, episode. we talked about the Star Wars Hotel. Yeah. We talked about uh, Cotino. Did you put in a bid on the houses uh, in Cotino? No. You're not, oh, really? You're not going to try to live there? No. Come on. I'll believe it when I'm I see it. I'm not going to the Star Wars Hotel because I can't afford You're, it. I'm yes, not living are. in that community because I can't afford it. Yeah. So The Star Wars Hotel, actually, we got to talk about that. So we'll cut this because we have some discussions to make. It's okay. Don't worry well, about it. Are you paying it. for it? I'm not, but <laughs> we'll figure it out. And we're going to work it out. Now the question is, am I joking? I might I might have a plan. But, you know, he's already laughing at me, so maybe I won't share that plan. That's <laughs> up for debate. Uh, I do want to say real quick, because we'll probably never talk about this otherwise, but this, this restaurant that was here for the longest oh, yeah. time had original original screen printed attraction attraction posters, posters yeah like for adventures through inner space all these old 60s rides and you could go up to them and see the layers in them they were original and they were kind of tattered like if you look yeah. at the corner they were kind of beat up a bit you can definitely tell they've been moved they, they were original yeah. pieces and then uh, but but it turns out they were all they were all owned <laughs> by Tony Baxter yeah oh, they just plowed right into that thing <laughs> They were owned by Tony Baxter. Yeah, it was his own personal collection <laughs> yeah. that he donated to the park. Yeah. So when, when he retired, <clears throat> yeah. took those out. And now this place is themed to the stupid-ass aliens yeah. from Toy Story. I don't... I, I don't... Li- I'm, hey, there's rumors they might change the, the Paradise Pier Hotel down here to a Toy Story Hotel. Yeah. They just opened a Toy Story Hotel in Japan. I'm, I'm going to say this. Toy Story, great movie. Yeah, I am so tired of that aesthetic. Yeah, the, they the, keep the, trying to the shoot white clouds the, yeah. and the, the blue sky and yeah. the like toy and the green thing, aliens the green, and the whatever. I, I'm overlooking it, it is at that. So stuff. ugly in yeah. real life. Yeah. Um, every park. Great in the movie. Great, yeah, in the movie. great in the movie. Yeah. But every park ne- feels like they need that. Like even Paris yeah. has a section. It's the lamest stuff. Yeah, they just like, added Toy Story Land to Florida, and yeah, it's like, like eh. I, oh, whatever. I don't. Yeah. It, it is so ugly in yeah, real life. Yeah. Like, it, yeah, I hate it. Yeah. So this place is just teeming with that now. So I, in addition to not really liking the food, I don't yep. like the atmosphere. Yep. So I never eat here. Nope. Anyway. It's just expensive pasta. But pizza. I do like the atmosphere. You know, down here it's Toy Story. I don't like looking at this. But when you look up there, I like it very much because yeah. it's Epcot core. Yep. Thank you for that terminology, Natty. Thank you. Yes. Uh, anyway, I think that's it. I think that's pretty yeah. much it. If there's anything else, you know, uh, we had a couple different subjects we were waffling between today. Um, I don't know if that's the right term to use. But if there's anything you guys want us to talk about, as always, let us know. Yeah. Give us a heads up on, you know, things that you think we haven't covered or, you know, whatever. Um, you know, we got one subject in mind that I think would be good for next time. But yeah. if something else comes up, we're always open-minded. So. But I'm just so glad to be back doing this. Same here. Uh, especially in we're back in the Disneyland yeah. park proper. Yeah, and yeah. even better, not only are we in the park, but guess what? No muzzles. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, they call them muzzles because I'm... A, a, a we, had, we had a famous cast member say that to us. Yes. And, uh, 
Uh, still thinking about still that. Still thinking about it. A beloved cast member who works here, and we uh, paid him a visit. We were yeah. like, hey, you're here. Good yeah. to see you. Had a great conversation, and then uh, he was like, well, sorry, I have to talk through this muzzle. He was like, oh, okay. uh-oh. <laughs> Enough said about that. Yep. Anyway. This, this is great. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm so, like, I feel like this is a longer episode. I don't. I don't know how long. I don't. Going. I have not been paying attention yeah. to how long this was. So this but, could be a short episode. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know. It could have been twenty minutes. No way of knowing. You tell me. You tell me. Yeah. <laughs> you tell us. We don't. We we're not going to look into that. You tell us. <laughs> Did we get I, 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 the one comment we get on every episode is that we always do it late enough where you see the sun setting behind yep. us. Were people able to see? Yeah. The sunset? Could you see? I noticed there was sun coming through. There here. was not anymore. Not anymore. So the sun did set as it does. As it does. So yeah. uh, did you see that happen? Right in the right. In the right comments. in the comments if you saw it happen. <laughs> and if you didn't, put no. Just comment no. <laughs> oh wait, they sometimes they don't they they don't promote your video as much if it's negative. Oh no. No, put no no, but I still I'm still happy. <laughs> no, but I'm still happy. No, but I still love life. Something like that. <laughs> yeah. Um, what's in that? Is that a drink? Yep. Oh, okay. I didn't know. I thought there was maybe a dessert or something. Yep. That's cool. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know he had a headless alien, yeah. and I was like, it felt very Indiana Jones in the Temple of it Doom. Did. Like, yo, eat this thing's brains. Yeah, he, or chose something. Wi- he chose wisely. Uh, I would say he chose poorly, but you know, that's, <laughs> up, that's up for debate. Anyway, all right. Let us know, and uh, I'm going to leave them with a little bit of Epcot Core uh, ambiance. I'm going to end on some uh, Epcot Core ASMR. Okay. So thanks, everybody, for watching. Good night. <laughs>